Curious about what the dream team has to say about your week this week? Well, come on and join us. Let's have a chat about it. Hello, Stacy the Black Feather Intuitive. Welcome to another weekly oracle reading for the week of February 8th. Hoping everyone is doing very well and getting through these interesting winter months and these interesting times. Let's call in all the archangels, ascended masters, highest guides, creature teachers, light beings, elementals, loved ones in spirit. Come on into this space to give us the clarity and guidance we need to have the most peaceful, peace-filled week that we can. That's an interesting intention to set, isn't it? All right, using my Ciro Marchetti's Tarot of Dreams today, and let's see what the message is. Ooh, reaping rewards. I love this card. This is one of my favorite cards. Um, so, reaping rewards, seven of coins. First of all, sevens are all about manifestation. Coin energy is that pentacle energy. It's that physical state, the realm of the material, um, <clears throat> health and wealth. And what I'm feeling here is in terms of the, the intention that I just said about your peace-filled week, it's about stopping to smell the roses. So many times, I, I feel like a broken record sometimes with this because this message has been coming through a lot. So many times we're so driven to focus on the goal. It's the achievement of the goal. And by the time we get to the goal, we're so goal oriented that we don't even take the time to enjoy why we were trying to achieve that goal in the first place. We're already on to the next goal. This card is saying this week, stop and take a minute to appreciate and be grateful for the harvest that's coming in. You know, you planted these seeds, you planted this, um, <clears throat> well, we're gonna call it an apple tree. We're gonna call it green apples. You planted this apple tree and you've loved it and nurtured it and watered it and made sure that it had all the right soil. And you've been waiting patiently, or if you're like me, not so patiently, for it to come to fruition. Well, now it is to fruition. Here's the Sorry guys, a little blip with the camera, technical issues. The catch is here with the seven of coins, when we are reaping rewards, oftentimes what we do is we forget that there is extra work still involved. So you get to this point and she's sitting under the tree and she's got two empty baskets. Now, she's sitting there with the empty baskets, she's hanging out with her fur fr uh, furry friend here, but she's sitting and she's taking the time to enjoy. We don't know whether she's going to sit and look and say, wow, this is still a lot of work, now I have to pick the apples and I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with all those apples, am I gonna sell them, am I gonna give them away, how many apple pies can I actually make um, you know, for this year? But it's important to recognize that yes, even though you are reaping the rewards of what you have sown, there's a little bit of extra effort involved. And you just take it that little extra bit in order to prepare for the harvest that is to come or the winter that is to come. You have it in abundance now, but abundance still sometimes takes work. So don't leave this tree with these baskets empty. That would be such a shame. Then all of those beautiful apples rot, fall off the tree, and of course they're reabsorbed into the earth and they do serve a purpose, but they don't serve very much of a purpose for you in that state. So take the time this week to stop and smell the roses. Enjoy the fact that you have arrived at these particular goals, or maybe you're working towards a particular goal. You haven't arrived there yet, but acknowledge that you've taken steps to get there. You know, even one step, towards a goal, even a baby step towards a goal is still a step towards that goal. You're a step further than you were just staying put. So in order to bring more peace into our lives this week, we need to reap rewards. We need to say, thank you universe for bringing me that tangibility, that physicality of what my dreams are about. I'm grateful for this abundance. And yes, I have to put in a little more effort in order to, to take advantage of this abundance and plan for the future. 
but I'm still so grateful. And I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna enjoy eating an apple every once in a while while I'm picking the apples. And I'm gonna just sit and enjoy the sunshine. I'm gonna sit and have a little conversation with my, my fur baby here and, and just sort of remember why I'm alive. Connect with the air in my lungs. Connect with the breath that I'm bringing in from all of this fresh air and being around this harvest. So I wanna say it's about prioritizing this week, prioritizing what you need to feel content and happy and peace filled, full of peace. All right, okay, I'm being drawn to, this is the Magical Dimensions Oracle from uh, Light Star, I almost said Starlight, Light Star. And I uh, love this deck. And let's see, oh, okay. It's the, the, the one on top is the one that's speaking to me. Ah, dreamscape, dream work, subconscious and imagination. And you know what, folks? This is exactly what is required in order for us to manifest our desires, to make those thoughts become things, thoughts coming into the physical. We need that imagination. We need to do the, the, the work in our minds, the big fantasy work in order to, and I always like to say, you know, we, it's important to go big or go home when you're doing your visioning work because you might shoot for the stars and you hit the sky. It's not a failure. Hitting the sky is still a pretty high up uh, place to be. You know, that's a pretty high place to reach. So I'm also feeling here with the dream work, this is kind of tying into, we had a similar message last week about dreams and the dream state. And I'm feeling that this ties in with this week as well, that we're still in that dream state era. We're still needing to connect with our dream teams, connect with um, the universe to bring what it is that we need. And, and in order to connect, a lot of us, we can only connect in the dream state because there's so much else going on. It's like we're in a storm um, when we are in our waking state. So focus on the manifesting, focus on reaping the rewards to bring you in balance so that you can really connect with that dream team, share gratitude, and then do some work, do some imagination work to see just how much more you can create and what kind of magic you can bring into your world. I'm really drawn to the butterfly uh, wings that she's got in the orange color. Orange is our sacral chakra, sexuality, sensuality, creative expression and flow, and the ocean of our emotion. And I'm feeling very much that this week, in order to bring that peace, we need to have joy in our lives. We need to stop and smell the roses and enjoy the fruits of our labor. I wanna say to you, Sex is a great thing, right? It brings us into our body. It makes us feel good. We are, you know, whether we're programmed or driven or crazy about it or obsessed or whatever, the point is we get something from it um, and it's something extremely pleasurable. So I wanna say to you, get your freak on this week. You know, if that's what it takes to help you get out of that monkey mind and be able to stop and enjoy something. Be in a moment of pleasure. In a moment of pleasure, if you think about it, I'm, I'm gonna get real personal here on uh, YouTube, but you know, when we have sex and we have that ultimate climax or we have that, um, that deep connection with another person, that intimate connection with another person, when all is said and done, there's a peace after it, right? You're, you're feeling content. You're feeling satisfied and satiated. You're feeling loved or seen or ravaged or whatever you're feeling, but you're feeling and you're feeling it in the body. It's a thought that has become a reality. That is manifesting. So use that energy, use the sexual energy, use that sensuality. We talk about sensual, um, touching things, you know, different fabrics, different um, flavors on the tongue, different scents, um, all of these things. You know, we, we think about these in terms of um, 
you know, the uh, sexual pleasure, but we also think of these things in terms of, you know, oh, that's, that food smells so good. I know I love uh, onions when they're cooking. I don't like it the day after it smells too much, but when it's cooking at the time, it's so delicious, right? It's, I, I always use the um, analogy of chocolate covered fruit on the tongue, that blend and that mix. So I'm really feeling here that the message is to get sensual, to get in the body and be able to imagine through the body when you're connecting with all of those feelings and those emotions it's going to be so much easier for you to reap the rewards of what you have worked hard to achieve what you have previously imagined and now you're you're setting yourself up it's like a reset so that you can imagine some more you can imagine bigger dream bigger go big or go home what is the next i'm enjoying the fruits of my labor and i'm also utilizing those, that enjoyment, those feelings that come out of enjoying it to be able to recreate more. That way, it's not always the, okay, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all about the goal, the goal, the goal. It's no, I'm enjoying what I have and that enjoyment is fueling the next goal. So I'm creating it at the same time rather than I'm blowing past it because I'm so focused on the goal. I hope that makes sense the way I'm sort of presenting that. I'm feeling a little pie in the sky right now, um, but I'm really feeling that that's the message. So everybody go get your freak on, <laughs> go have some fun, connect to the body. And that is going to help with all of that I want to say that manifestation cycle that we are going to be in. Wow, I'm liking this peace-filled week. Looking forward to what this is going to bring me, myself. All right, we got a green feather. Knowledge. Knowledge is power, and it's on that green feather, and we have a lot of green here in the coin. So I feel like this is kind of reaffirming the message about being connected, being in the body, being, I don't want to say grounded necessarily, but I want to say connected in the body, feeling the body. When we're talking about knowledge, I feel like this is heart knowledge. This week, in order to find peace, to feel that peace throughout your body, to feel that peace throughout that heart space and that chest area, um, it, it's important to connect and to get to know your body. Get to know what it's like um, when you are reaping the rewards for what you have sown. Um, getting to enjoy the pleasures. And it doesn't have to be, I know I'm talking a lot about sex here, but um, it doesn't have to be sex. I mean, there's so many ways that we can experience joy and pleasure and, and peace and experience, reap the rewards of, you know, what we have nourished, what we have nurtured and loved and, and paid attention to and helped to grow. Uh, so that's what we need to do this week. And the knowledge is going to come when you are connected to the body. It's getting to know the body a bit more, getting to understand this manifestation cycle. Oh, I am really in the clouds today. I feel like my message has gone kind of like this. <laughs> So I hope if you're still with me and you're still following it, that it resonates, it makes sense with you. And if it doesn't, I always like to say, take what works for you and leave the rest behind. I can only give you what I'm getting. Anyway, that's our reading for the week. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you see here, feel free to click the bell on my YouTube so that you get all of my other interesting offerings um, on my website, theblackfeatherintuitive.com, my uh, Facebook page, The Black Feather Intuitive. I've also got my Insta. Wanted to just talk really quickly about my next Archangel Conversations workshop that is coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, Saturday, February 20th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a 90 minute workshop where I channel an archangel and I'm really excited to be offering this to you. We're still determining what the theme is going to be. Stay tuned for that. I will, um, I will be posting that on my website, uh, but I love this way of connecting with the archangels and, and really being able to utilize their energy and their help and their assistance in practical real-time situations and circumstances that we are finding ourselves in right now. So please feel free to check that out. Again, website, uh, Insta, Facebook, um, of course, YouTube, always loving to put new things up on there. Thanks so much, guys. Have the most amazing week and we will see you next time.